Hi, my name is Josh, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export recorded footage from your Hikvision DVR using the Hikvision software on your computer. So we're in that application right now. We're in the main view screen, um, and currently we're just looking at the live view. Now, to actually export footage, uh, we need to go to the control panel, and uh, normally you do that by clicking the tab up here that says control panel. Uh, if that control panel is missing, like in this situation, you needed to get that back, just click view, control panel. And um, exporting footage is actually done from the same screen as the remote playback screen. So you click on remote playback. And this is the screen where I looked at in a previous video how to just review footage um, that was recorded. Now before I go any further in explaining uh, how to export the footage, um, by default, the footage is saved when you're exporting um, using the program the footage is saved to the local C drive and it's saved if I go to Explorer it's saved in the C drive IVMS 4200 video and in here they'll, when you export footage it creates a folder and inside that folder contains um, the video footage now if you needed to have that on a USB device, uh, like a USB drive, to give that to a third party, you would need to copy the footage from the local C drive to the USB drive um, after exporting it with the IVMS software. But I'm going to go through that scenario, okay? So let's minimize that. We're back in the remote playback screen. Um, these are all the cameras on the left hand side. I'm not going to go through every facet of this interface. If you wanted to have a look at what all the other buttons do in playback, um, have a look at the uh, the other video I did on, on playback in the IVMS application. So I'm going to select uh, the main camera that I have connected. Double click that, hit pause. Okay, so now I want to just export footage from this camera um, I'll click down without even having to scrub through the footage um, I can actually export using a date range but say if I, I didn't know what date range to or time I wanted to export I could use the preview let's say let's, say, let's jump to the next the six that uh, let's jump to about 11 oh, let's go 10 o'clock a.m. jump to there okay that's me there uh, let's go from 10 to 11 something like that let's do that so I'll hit pause hit the down here it's sometimes hard to see but it's this gray button and if you hover over it actually says download click on that button and if it's on the download by files tab I'll quickly explain this when the NVR records footage, it saves it in separate files based on a start and end date. And say if you wanted to quickly just dump this date range, this date range out, you could click on one of them and click download. But we want a specific um, start and end time. So we're going to click download by date. I'm going to click on duration one. All right, so let's click on the calendar view. Uh, let's go to April uh, the 6th, and I said from 10 a.m. And then we go to the end, I click OK. There we go, 6th of April, 10 o'clock. Go to end time, and I'm just going to make it 11 o'clock, and make that zero, and zero, OK. So we've got our date range. Now I'm just going to click download. And once that, it's not going to prompt us where to save the file. Remember I said it's going to save it in that folder on the C drive. So I'll let that do its thing. One thing that's different um, with saving um, files from IVMS rather than saving them on the uh, directly from the DVR to the USB drive is that it's going to save it in different files in separate files so I'll show you that in a minute let's just wait till the process is complete you can see the the process bar there 
nearly done see these little pop-ups it's saying that one a specific file has has finished but we still haven't finished the entire process so it's it's going there right now and we're done uh, I don't know if you saw that dialogue and the process paths right to the end so if I open back Explorer see now that it's, it's actually created a a folder and you can actually see it's got the date in there and the time from the start and end time and as again as expected it's actually got three separate files in there if I open the first file see it started at 10 but it only goes for four minutes and this is because the um, the DVI is splitting the footage up into different files but this one's a lot longer so this one's 42 minutes and there we go so I've got my footage there it also saves a little uh, image file of just uh, the start frame of each section um, if I wanted to give that to someone I'd have to put it on a USB key or copy it onto the USB key so I'm gonna plug that in So now I've plugged the USB drive in and what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click that and open it in your window. So now I have the key, I've also got other things that I've stored on there previously, let me just delete that. If I want to copy this footage, again I can just copy that or I can actually go back one and just copy go to the USB drive paste and that will copy the the footage um, over to the USB drive to which you can hand to a third party to view I hope this helps you un better understand how to export footage from the IVMS software uh, of course if there's any further questions please contact GPK support uh, thank you for your time and thanks for watching